Francisco. <clears throat> We're almost there. Hey, Pa. Someone's coming. Thrilled to get my rifle. That's close enough, unless you like chewing lead. Dang it, Obadiah. Don't you recognize me? I'll be a big dang. Is that you? It's me, all right. I come because they, they shot him, Obi. They killed Stinky Neil while he was getting a shave. All because of a blueprint he submitted to a planning committee. You gotta help me make this right, Obi. They done killed Stinky Neil. I guess they done a number on me, too. Hanged if it ain't you. Zerelda, get some water boiling and open a bottle of acetone. It ain't fitting that Marshall Stack's gotta pay for what he done. They shot him all because he wanted to build a vestibule for his ma and they got an ordinance again it. He used to talk about building a vestibule. Remember, Obi? Remember when he used to talk? Sure, I remember, Stinky. All he ever talked about was building that vestibule for his ma. But I can't go gunning down lawmen no more. I got sick hogs and two children to think of. Look, did Paul used to kill folks? Shut up, Flora. If you think you're gonna run off and leave me with sick hogs and all the rest, I'll make your head as flat as a riddle cake. You hear me, husband? Pa, three more of them hogs got fever. Me too. I got fever now, Pa. You know, it's noble as a grape the way you decided to help me. Well, you know how fast that hog fever can spread. You remember that time down in that Cheyenne saloon when them five buckaroos said our gang looked like spare parts? <laughs> we killed them boys real good. But that was a long time ago. Not so long ago that we don't remember him still. I reckon so. All the same, a lot of time has gone on. Heck, last time I shot a fella, I was wearing bell bottoms. We all done a lot of dumb things back then, Obi. All we can do about them now is hope nobody was making daguerreotypes while we was about that day. You don't reckon someone still holding a grudge over the last time we was in town? That was a long time ago, Obadiah. All the same, why don't you keep a low profile? Find a place to water the ponies while I do some subtle asking around. Yeah, you just holler when the shooting's gonna start. Uh, howdy. Thanks for pausing everything, but you fellas can go right ahead gambling and drinking and so forth, unhindered by the likes of me. What'll you have, stranger? Beer. And a bottle. It ain't much good, but it's all we got. Can I get you anything else? Just a peaceful hour to drink it in. Maybe some guar gum if you got it. And half a dozen brass-plated tacks. A new can of bear grease would be good, and a pop-up book. Any kind will do, really. Fella can't be too picky on a trail. Oh, and one more thing. I'm looking for a vestibule for my ma. You tell anyone who cares that I'm here for that right now. And he's talking gibberish for a long time till he gets this look in his eye. Then he goes and says how he wants a vestibule for his ma. Is that right? Well, Jed, I think you'd better go and wake up English Bill. I reckon it's about time to convene another meeting of the Box Top Hill Planning Committee. <laughs> We're gonna have a gunfight soon, so keep your eyes open for foil stars. Well, right on time. That's him, the squinty one next to the dirty fella. Is it true what they say? You boys looking for a vestibule? I'm not sure why it takes armed assassins to greet a few innocent men who come to take their ease in your town, but I guess well-groomed society fellas got their reasons. Now, it's true that these men are killers, but that's just a funny circumstance. The three of us just share an appreciation for local law, which forbids garish and indulgent interior spaces. And that includes your vestibules. Zesso. 
Well, we're here to appeal the building permit denied to one stinking Neil Hendershot, and we're boiled up about the way you killed him, too, because this is a free country, and a guy should be able to build a vestibule for his ma if he wants to, and no foil star should stand in his way. Dang! Is that what freedom is about? <laughs> You shot the Martian! And you shot in this bill! Dang it, dang it, they got me! They got me! I'll send word to your wife you died doing something nice for old folks. Come on, Cisco. You can't just kill folks and pony off! Anyone that fancies a hole in his head can follow me out of town. You'll pay for this! This town ain't big enough for the both of us! Can I get you anything else? You let folks build what they want for their Mars, you hear me? Or I'll come back and play rough with each and every one of you. Mm -hmm.